As sure as the geese and robins are back, so are the golfers. Scott Anderson, CPGA Pro at Riverbend, says many come out and hit bucket after bucket in that first week the range is open. You see a lot of guys, pretty much everyone on the range right now, probably hasn't hit a ball in six months, and show up, pull the driver out and hit about 200 drivers and wake up tomorrow and wonder why they're sore. One of the fatal flaws many make when they get to the range is not doing any sort of warm-up. Maybe take a couple clubs out and get loosened up first, uh, hit some wedge shots first before you start uh, whacking the big driver out there. Uh, yeah, just loosen up a little bit. Scott says another good idea is to have a plan when you head out to smash a few golf balls. The first thing you want to work on is tempo. Um, the kind of the problem with hitting the driver first is everyone gets a little bit quick. Uh, just slow the tempo down. Um, that's usually the first telltale sign you get after such a long break is you're just trying to whack the ball and kill it. And after a six-month layoff, golfers shouldn't expect the miracle and find themselves hitting the ball just like they did last summer. Even if tour players take six months off and they pull the clubs out, they're not going to be hitting it like a tour player. So kind of ease into it and don't expect the world on the first day. And of course, if you are in need of help getting your game to come around, book a few lessons with your local pro. In a 45-minute lesson that we do here, we'll probably work on one, maybe two things. Um, it seems like not very much, but in the grand scheme of things, if you do start doing more than that, you're not going to be accomplishing what you want. It's, you got to take baby steps. Jim Claggett, Shaw TV Sports, Red Deer.